Hello there. Just a quick video to show you a few things I've been working on lately. K Energy sent me a box of goodies, so this setup will be what he usually does in his videos. I've been experimenting with laser cut mild steel stator cores. This is a six pole repulsion type, single phase, optically timed pulse motor. The rotor has six magnets, all north facing, but they are only five millimeters thick, so the torque is low. I added a flywheel for a load, with a white mark on it for testing the RPMs. The output or flyback spikes are directed into K's cap dump circuit, which condenses the high voltage spikes into a lower voltage, higher current output. Once it reaches 20 volts, the cap dump will discharge into a 110 amp hour deep cycle, which has been converted with magnesium sulfate electrolyte. As you can see, I'm using 24 volts at approximately 800 milliamps. I'm getting back 20 volt, 2.5 amp pulses every two seconds. Turning down the PWM to 11% still gives me 2.5 amps, but now at every 4 seconds. Notice that I'm only using 200 milliamps from the power supply. What is critical to understand is that this output energy is usually wasted in conventional motors with a flyback diode. If any of you are interested in building a pulse motor, but are struggling with the drive circuits, I recommend going over to Kay's site and buying one. His boards are built to endure, and replacing a blown MOSFET is a breeze. Simply screw in a new one. Each circuit, crafted by hand, undergoes thorough testing before shipment. When considering the price, it's important to recognize the value behind these products. They're not just off-the-shelf, mass-produced items. They're the culmination of years of passionate, self-funded research and development. Each piece reflects a journey of trial and error, a testament to dedicated craftsmanship. In the realm of experimental circuits, you won't find anything more reliable or well-conceived than his creations. This isn't just a purchase. It's an investment in unparalleled quality and innovation. I am experimenting with generator ideas, including a flux gate generator. This design features two large magnets on the stator, with their north poles facing upwards on both sides. The rotor, made of iron, completes the magnetic circuit when it aligns with a pair of stator coils. As the magnetic circuit breaks, voltage is generated in the windings. The spinning rotor alternately excites each coil pair. To collect the alternating current, AC, I'm using a full bridge rectifier with a capacitor, converting it into direct current, DC. This flux gate generator is an early prototype with some drawbacks, notably the excessive air gap between the stator and rotor. I have an updated design on its way that addresses all the issues I've identified with this initial version. However, this demonstration effectively proves the feasibility of the flux gate concept. I achieve approximately 11.5 volts with both rectifiers in series and 5.5 volts when they are connected in parallel. Simultaneously, while powering a mechanical load, the motor's output is still directing cap dumps to the battery. The motor definitely does not speed up under load, which is a claim made by other alternative generator designs. FYI, I'm also working on a version of the Cromry converter, so be on the lookout for that. Even though this setup has its challenges, like a motor with little torque and a generator with low output, 
I am still able to achieve a decent energy return. I'm using a 10 watt, 12 volt LED, and the light output is quite bright. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell if you want to be alerted when my new videos drop. Also, check out both my and K Energy store if you're interested in building your own pulse motor. You'll find the links in the description.